Hello. 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 ये
Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Honorable Chief Guest, SN Gurmade. Overall, first technical courses, Admiral Katari Trophy. Overall, Navigation and Direction Specialization Course. Distinction in United States Naval Staff College at Naval War College, Rhode Island, and CNC Silver Medal in Naval Higher Command Course at Naval War College. The officer also holds MPhil in Defense and Strategic Studies from Mumbai University and MSc in Defense and Strategic Studies from the University of Madras and the master's degree in personal management from Syriosis Institute of Business Management, University of Pune. During his career spanning over 38 years, he has been through a myriad of operational and staff appointments. His important operational appointments include command of guided missile to get INS Brahmaputra, Submarine Rescue Vessel, INS Nerisha, and Minesweeper, INS Alati, and Second Command Guided Missile Frigate, INS Ganga. Sir's important appointments ashore include Assistant Chief of Personnel, Human Resources Development, and Principal Director of a Personnel, Director Naval Plans, and Joint Director plants at Naval Headquarters as a separate assignment, Director of Military Affairs at Ministry of External Affairs, Local Work Up Team West and Instructor at Navigation Direction School and the National Defense Academy. In the rank of Rear Admiral, the officer also has held the appointments of Assistant Chief of Personnel Human Resource Development. Flag Officer Commanding Karnataka Naval Area. Flag Officer Commanding Maharashtra Naval Area. In the rank of Vice Admiral, she has held the coveted and the challenging appointments of Director General, Naval Appointments, Chief of Staff, Eastern Naval Command, and Controller Personal Services. Deputy Chief, Operations and Training, Integrated Defense Staff in Headquarters. Integrated Defense Staff prior to taking over as the Vice Chief of this Naval Staff in on 1st August 1921. Sorry, 2021. The Flag Officer was awarded the Param Vishistha Sena Medal on 26 January 2022, Ati Vishistha Sena Medal on 26 January 2017 and Norsena Medal in 2007 by the President of India and commendation by the Chief of Naval Staff in 2000. Vice Chief of Naval Staff is passionate about reading, trekking, water sports and horse riding. The flag officer is married to Mrs. Sanskriti Gurmare. Mrs. Sanskriti Gurmare is an alumnus of this prestigious institution, Yashwantra Chavan Institute of Science, Satara. She has joined this college in class 11 in 1989, completed her BSc Honours Chemistry in 1994. Post marriage, Ma'am has worked with Navy Welfare Wellness Association and various capacities. Now she is currently the Vice President of Navy Welfare and Wellness Association. Mrs. Gurmare has worked with SPARSH, an outreach activity to help community at Mumbai. She is conducting yoga classes for special children at Santal, New Delhi. She has worked with Pregna to provide emotional support to New Delhi cancer patients. As the President of the Navy Welfare and Wellness Association, Karwa, Mrs. Gurmare contributed immensely to the consolidation of Navy Welfare and Wellness Association to the management of the girls. She also successfully contributed to the management of the girls, hostel at Kota House and actively managed Sahara Hostel for Veer Nadi at New Delhi. 
Mr. Sanskriti Gurmare is happy home maker and enjoys gardening, yoga and golf. Bhoti couple, sir and man are blessed with two wonderful children, Radha and Parah. May I now request our principal group captain Mr. Gurmare to kindly come on stage to extend a formal welcome and felicitation, sir please. Good evening everybody, it's a proud privilege sir to host you at uh, Sanifu Satara. Welcome to Sanifu Satara. My cadets are eagerly uh, waiting to uh, listen to you sir. And uh, may I request you sir to kindly come on the stage to accept a small uh, token of remembrance from this school. A moment to come off. Please give now a second to the Kanaki Mandra from the first side. Thank you, sir. Honorable Chief Guest, Vice Chief of Narasta, will now hand over the crest to the principal of our school. And also, sir, will hand over a limited grant sanctioned letter of rupees 2 lakh. Appreciate our principal sir with the token of love. Thank you, sir. With these words, I now request the chief guest of today's function to kindly address the gathering, sir, please. Principal of Senate School, Sadara, Group Captain Ujwal Gormade. Firstly, uh, and in my service, I found the first officer who is the same, share the same surname. So, that is one coincidence, but it's very nice because I think he belongs to somewhere, same, same area also. So, esteemed uh, members of the training staff, and actually, I am really privileged and happy to see such bright, young, and uh, brilliant and energetic young cadets of Senate School Satara who are all called Ajinkyas. Uh, very good. So, firstly, uh, very good evening to you and uh, uh, sorry to phone you out on a Saturday evening, uh, but this was the opportunity I got to interact with you all and I am sure uh, uh, this interaction would be something memorable for me also to see young uh, bright students who are going to be the future leaders of our country uh, whether you join these courses or whether whichever career you take i'm sure you will do very well wherever you join and uh, it's actually a matter of distinct honor and pride for me to be here and be to speak to you so i'll try to uh, being from the Navy, I'll try to tell you what about the Navy is all about, but I'd like to also tell you something more. And first thing to start with, I would like to... Uh, you are all aware of Swami Vivekananda. Huh? He has given three secrets of success. Huh? So, can anybody guess what is the first secret of success? Quick one, sir. Loudly you can tell me, anybody can tell me. Hard work, very, very great. So give a loud applause to him. Yes. <laughs> uh, what will be the second secret? Be 
Yeah, that, that's very good. But what? Yeah. Integrity. Good. But uh, that's not the one we said. Yeah. Smart work. Very good. Actually, that you are really a smart generation and you are very much ahead. And that's important actually. Smart work is important. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, but uh, that's not what he said. But yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, just quickly. Persistence. Persistence, very good, very good. Focus. Focus, excellent. Consistency. Consistency, yes. Honesty, sir. Honesty, yes. All of excellent qualities, I'm telling you. So, all of you have got that. But his second secret was hard work. Okay. And so, what is the third secret? Lovely. Hard work. You are all very smart. So, hard work actually pays. Uh, and all these other qualities which you mentioned are extremely essential and they will add to you. But with hard work, you become lucky and with hard work, you become more, more confident, you persist uh, and also adds to your honesty positively. When you do work, work hard, you are also honest. Your Every all other quality adds. So, just keep that in mind and that is very important. Of course, uh, these days with you are all tech savvy, with social media, I think smart work, work comes. But smart work will only help if you have to do hard work. Because all this Google and everything will give you instant information. But that whether it is right or not, that you don't know. And secondly, anything you get in shortcut, in the long run, may not stand you in good stead. So, Consistently, consistent hard work will always pay. Okay. And use technology to the best ability. Because you are always in that tech savvy world, you need to include them. Also, I just want to tell you a small story. Uh, there was a very excellent sculptor. You can see the photograph. He used to really work very hard and he used to make excellent and beautiful islands. And therefore, in a place there was a temple to be made, so the people tasked him, the administration tasked him to make a nice idol which was to be placed in the temple. And so he went and picked up two big stones to start the work. When he started carving with the first stone, and he was chiseling, and that stone, the voice came out from the stone, and he started saying, It's hurting, it's hurting very badly. It's working and I can't take it. So then the sculptor said, okay, he kept the stone aside, on one side, and then he got the other stone. And then he started carving. So when he was and doing that, noise coming from the other stone. That's okay. He said, yes, yes, I know it's working, but it doesn't matter. And I can bear it and I can take it forward. So the sculptor made a beautiful light with some come and step on it. They offered to So now that I try hurting very good just that see how it pass on me and uh, but where I made You need to count you need to work hard. But it may, it may be a pain, but that helps. Therefore, never uh, stages of your career. So, I, all this must come to positive attitude. Somebody said that positive attitude. When you meet your friend, people, you can recognize who is positive in his attitude. People who speak positive attitude will always say, I can. I will do it. Huh? It's not something I will try. Huh? I will try means already you are halfway, whether maybe, may not be. When you want to do a job, say, I can. I will do it. And I will do it. And you will be able to do it. 
Nothing is difficult in this world. And you must keep that in mind. And all tell that I am powerful and powerful person, and I can do it physically, mentally, and emotionally very healthy. And also, it's when you speak positive, actually speak to your whole body every time. That I you speak to yourselves and the hormones which are released. And and well being. Huh? If you give the more well being, you are able to do the job much better. Okay. So these are the issues. I take the opportunity to tell you about maritime stage and why India is a maritime nation. And then I talk something very important. Huh? So it's a we always have a marriage identity and our name is to this identity. With the sea on the three uh, and high mountains on the fourth, it has been said actually our country lies a very large Indian Ocean. And if you see the distance, if you see when you map upside down, you see a different perspective. Actually you see all around India, but if you see this, and that has been the low, that has been the continental outlook of our people. We just think Himalayas and borders, but when you see maritime borders, the other place, you see much maritime nation we are. So, all this dates back to very early times, having learned the elements of sea craft. In Lagoon and Creeks, and about first edition is probably from the mouths of great rivers. So, first, history, our geography, our economy, our position, interaction, for all the global, our nation's development, security, all intimately and directly connected to the maritime domain. Which is essentially the Indian Ocean. And also, Indian Ocean is the only ocean in the world named after a country. This fact signifies our intrinsic and inseparable association with the nation. So, the idea of sea power was born when the sea was found useful as a means of transport or communication. This power involves ability to control the sea or any part thereof, denying at the same time it their use. Navalism actually originated from some in among the Marathas of this very control of the sea. That is, the aim was to check the neighboring enemies, and that was the cities. Of course, we have had the Cholas, Chalukyas, all those, they had, we were a seafaring nation. But what brought more towards the Navy was how the Marathas fought. Actually, they sit and your own, your own in Satara, the Azim Khedara fort, is one of the important pillars of the history of Maharashtra. The same fort, of course, during the 16th century, I had seen some very, very important events of the Marathas on country. And so you know your are So in France, also continued to strengthen the Navy and in the firmly held the control of Konkan to Karwa and Karnataka. Of Mumbai, Delhi, and Goa. Kanodi, the Admiral of Marathas, he was an outstanding commander in the 17th century. He started as commander of the Maratha Navy, great Maratha, and he went to Sarkhe, his Admiral. And it was 78 to 17, and he had the distinction of defeating. And Portuguese at sea. And he was a 
cellar and cellar. The blue octagon designed to present eight directions, visualizing multi-dimensional reach of and India is always used towards building for centuries from a coastal region connected with maritime coastal region. In Indian literature, the fact that as far as the early civilization, maritime interaction between and western. To appreciate the maritime domain, I just uh, uh, highlight a 70, 80, and 100 concept. Maybe you have heard of in your. Let me just. 66 percent of the world resources come from the or nearby areas. 70 percent of the world is covered by water. And 80% of the world's population near the ocean. 80% of the intelligence flows. And 100% of the world's population over the undersea. That is the officially published shortly. So, till then, the figure, but get officially published. We are almost. Economic zone square kilometers, about two thirds of that is the American force. Peninsular India, which cuts into the is spread of 70 million of great. Of the and 50 percent container shipments to meet the challenges of our nation. Of our maritime component of foreign dependence of projecting sea and one thing is about the Navy that uh, all all countries which have a sea or ocean ground dead. Our maritime neighbors. The Navy currently has about 140 aircraft. We have a man cost of about 12,000 of 76,000 sailors, and we have a civilian for about 40 safeguard artillery. Also, a creation of a peaceful place to facilitate social Have a place more use of the need for security also in a modern and heavy kind of security being required. In fact, and sustained in Kabul, there was a standoff at Dropa and as a whole to ensure that the war. Situation doesn't escape the and always has created a diversion of creation and always afterwards. The Navy remains the first response to humanitarian crisis and made. Period of COVID 19 during the global pandemic, Indian Navy ships. And since 2020, 10 points have been undertaken. Of four, eight medical assistance to six of the Ashman Irvarka or in We have always been in the forefront and very early and we have been on the foremost and And delivered by the shipyard 
in 1960 and this was in the 80s and continued to grow and with increasingly complex construction of class cookery class and then much more potent and shivali class again the world class Calvary class comrades which are joined the Indian currently ships and submarines or private sector in public and private we have 55 ships and submarines acceptance of taken up for construction in are you aware of our commissioning of the aircraft at first and that's a shining symbol of an Atman. It's an, actually an icon of national pride, national strength, national resolve, research, and, uh, and we want to be factory. We ensure that like sonar, communication, Electronic warfare equipment, rocket launchers, and components of missiles were built in India. It is last two and a half years systems which are made in India. Indian part of you, both men and women, can join Navy officers and. is a commission. He or she is a commission personally president of it, who signs and hands it for this purpose. No other certificate, believe me. No other IAS or certificate from president and president to a officer of the Indian Armed Forces. Applies in the Indian Navy either officer or commissioner. So we work from naturally we have to work close to the sea at the sea. headquarters is obviously at the Delhi and because all the policies are decided and therefore we have to be is a four star general and under him is the vice chief. So, questions continuous the formative workforce and we need to pay attention to the dedicated and our at Kochi to training. And this means. Our naval training units spread across India function under the leadership of the command at Kochi. Um, once uh, the training which is Electrical Engineering College at Gam, Mechanical Engineering College at the prestigious Naval War College at Goa, Naval Academy at and in last few minutes, we are training at Vishan and we have the same as basic training in Vishan and Odisha. In addition to the commands of the Navy, there is also basic, which is the Andaman and Nikova, Marilia, Marit. We are as Indian Navy, which are military, which means of war diplomatic, which is constant and India, constabulary, which in the government maintains law and benign, helping these those facing from like victims of tsunami, cyclones, flood relief, etc. Navy is also divided 
branches according to the job specification. Uh, we have the branch that primarily shoulders all the fighting responsibility. Then we have the technical branch that comprises the engineering, including naval construction and electrical engineering. Uh, they keep the complex machinery on board of submarines and aircraft taking and a condition. Then there is a navigation branch and meter related functions. Finally, we have a medical branch which keeps the Indian Navy personnel. The officers of the executive branch can become captains of warships, submarines, and aircraft. Executive branch officers these days can specialize in one of the many which include gunnery and missile warfare, navigation and aircraft direction, anti submarine warfare, communications and warfare, and maintaining and we have ports and information. And people join the technical wide variety of officer, you could be uh, you could be an electric a much to be a submarine engineer or a naval architect who designs, builds ships and submarines. Officers of engineering and electrical branches can also volunteer to join submarine and aviation specialization. To stay, to help you stay abreast of technology and to ensure professional excellence, we, the Navy conducts many courses and also give chance to pursue the MTech at IITs, NITs and even prestigious international institutions abroad. And in fact, all is at the expense of the Navy. But to join the Navy, you have to do BTEC for most of the branches. So therefore, B is compulsory. So if you join the INA, Indian Naval Academy, and of course to NDA, you continue to do this BTEC. We, uh, the Navy has its own independent aviation wing. This includes, uh, we have the big 29K fighter aircraft, which are uh, operated from the aircraft carrier, the Hawk trainer aircraft, and state of the art long maritime patrol aircraft, and a range of advanced helicopters. You may have uh, read the exciting book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. And may have also seen the movie Crimson Tide or Down Periscope. So, if not, please see them. Uh, those on or uh, actually live that fantasy imagined in these books and movies. Uh, submarines are a special platforms that remain underwater for long durations, undetected by the enemy. This way, they carry out their missions highly discreetly, and I'm you're all aware of the. Uh, SSBN, that is the Ariane, the indigenously built nuclear submarine that our Navy operates. India, therefore, is an elite group of countries that operates nuclear submarines. We have the Marine Commandos uh, called the Special Forces. Uh, they are, of course, they are special, and all, all the world over, they are also called Special Forces. So, Indian Navy's Marine Commandos. More famously known as Marcos, actually form a little, little entity. And to get to wear a maroon cap, which is a unique privilege, takes great determination and mental dexterity of extreme kind. Then our coming to the Navy, our Navy's pride, our warships, submarines and aircraft. The Navy is actually forever evolving. We are only constantly adding to our powerful punch by acquiring more important and lethal platforms. We have the aircraft carrier as Vikramaditya, which is 45,000 tons. This is a sovereign territory of India, which moves around and carries over 30 aircraft, including fighters and helicopters. And then I spoke about the indigenous aircraft carrier, uh, INS Vikram. It was recently commissioned by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Besides this, we have a range of other modern warships, including destroyers, missile corvettes, and advanced patrol ships, which 
further enhance the Navy's power plant points. A career in the Navy gives you the opportunity to display leadership skills and bestows upon you a tremendous amount of experience of very young age. Life offers new experiences, gives you life friendships and above all the benefits of the time-tested real value system. In the Navy's recruitment as shown, you join in the Navy.gov.in. It gives on the process education qualifications, age criteria, and join the Navy as an officer or a sailor. All the branches of the Indian Navy are open to men and women join as an officer and sailor. So, for selection of an uh, as an officer, you could join after your 10 plus 2 through the NDA or uh, NDA. Combined exam or as a 10 plus 2 BTEC entry cadet. For those who complete graduation, none of them and BTEC can appear in combined sense of Agnipath scheme or recently launched. You have awarded this is a competitive scheme which offers of the nation a golden opportunity in the year. Uh, actually, picking up technically adept appointment a fine balance useful and personal in the ranks. We have we are joining uh, the people are joining the Nibis uh, women age of 70 and the senior secondary matrix. Indian Navy way of life because the Indian offers foreign careers for young Adventurous men and women who seek to don white uniforms and officers and leaders of men. To say Navy is not as a naval officer, unique privilege of member of a highly professional motivated acquire higher academic qualifications and very very important responsibility. I said earlier, maybe was the top was challenging work of and it's also a environment which provides adequate avenues for the tech to contribute their bit and so lots of innovation and generation like you or below. I would say, and no play, but a few other professions match uniform and the pride of wealth. So we are and kinship in strong city and large family, community values, and for opportunities. Chance to serve you with pride, glorious, very trajectory that and maritime bounty of the sea of national development objective. So in India, always remain a nation. And we are increasingly mesh and synchronized to propel ship India power. All actually, this is a yeah, we are really progressing. Uh, while there may be this on the world, uh, you the, the Europe is in a bad in uh, Russia, Ukraine war is going on, the USA is under pressure, uh, other. The China, of course, a little slowdown is there, but the only economy that has grown is the Indian economy. So there's the country. This is the hard and skills. from us and with the spirit current candidates. We have lots of vocations in the Senate will always. 
like it has always done. The students, the right to face future challenges. We that our nation is harnessing these for this nation regional maritime security. And the principle of India's maritime combat ready. Interest across, the but I still suppose more positive attitude. You know, for all, just to face positive attitude. Sometimes you must start thinking positive. But you are stuck. You have a wonderful life, wonderful, a beautiful. You see a beautiful. Beautiful nature, and you got good. And each and every one of you, wherever you get, yes, to yourself. Full of opportunity, full of abundance. We are believing linear. Think positive. You have all of you good in spread positive around Kiriba. It's not that at this young you get to focus and you need to see what you want. Thank you. Jai benefits are benefited and encouraged by your wise words. Thank you. Special thanks to the group captain of the Gurmadi. This valuable guide for the smooth conduct of it. Thanks to you for a wise for a constant. I thank our teaching staff teaching staff for their present and your section for peer support one all with your function and now the kindly wise for national anthem